debut. Only six years they've been a D1 school in a bracket where they've been eligible, and away we go from Philadelphia. Two contrasting styles here, as you mentioned. Different style offense for the Hoyas of Georgetown. Hopkins has it. He is hounded there defensively, as you can see. Twisting and turning. Tires are from Hallettsville, Maryland. On the wing, Indian Jr. leads the team. And three point shots made. They break the press right here. Our Thompson back to Porter Jr. Lubick the other one. Playing one of the big field. The guys, rather the guys, this is Red Reg. Earlier this year. They lost to BCU. They played at Duke. They played at Iowa State. You know, they know what it's like to play against the big fellas. Thompson. And the three will not drop for starts. Trollick, Porter. They push the pedal to the middle. Trollick, Porter. The previous play. Oh, what a pass by that. You got to make sure, though. They're not turning the ball over. Murray is watching Otto Porter Jr. Maybe McKnight. Look, exactly. Did you see it? How about Comer? Comer threw the ball facing. That's oh, funny. You learned that. The lowest level of basketball never to turn your back. Comer's picked up by Starks. McKnight had just checked in, set the screen. Brown for three. They just switched that foul, by the way. Comer is the one to pick it up. Graff has now come in for Florida Gulf Coast. Point five of the 73 points. Now at NCAA.com slash Arch Coffee approaching 13 to play in the first half. The drive by starts with Trick. The Smith Rivera is picked up by Brown. The aforementioned starts. The drive in the reverse of the Hoyas, 14 points. Iegba has come in for the first time for the Hoyas, and outside it goes here. Trollick and Smith Rivera. Over Rivera to 14, Thompson. And chased down by Markel Starks. Galloping, floating, and Lubick. Tyler Susan come the other way. Porter on the move. He comes up short. Here comes Sherwood Brown. Off the coma. Switching in from the left side. And Brown down several times. That becomes Florida Gulf Coast's pick. He's the first player in the very short history of this school's basket. Picked up by Graff. And again, they want to run. Comer. Now he's done so. And they get it to Hopkins. These shots you have to make. Bernard Thompson with first half going forward. Did you see his numbers on the season? It's really what's causing the lead change. Whoever sees his tempo and gets to play their game. Porter is two of four. Luby, that's the problem. Yeah, this zone that Florida go on the weak side, back lane of that zone. Hopkins outside looking for Trout who makes the move and tries and saying they got to get over there a lot quicker. And for the Gulf Coast, Feeler had a hand on it. Boy, Comer gets it down in a hurry with creative passing like that one right there to Thompson. Goal line. Hopkins picks up his third, so they're going to take him out. He's in four, huh? Seven. It's knocked away. Good steal right there by Murray. Brown the other way. Iowa State. Great feed in his first foul for the Hoyas, who have now done free throws. Especially when you have a chance. Feed Georgetown up. Georgetown has a little bit of difficulty in handling it. Now they're in their front court, and they play the game they want to play. Trollick in the graph, and he loose. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of pressure going into halftime. They're up two, down two. Huge call. Oh, good pass to On the line this season. Tournament final. It's two right by seven, they scored only four points the rest of the way, missing 13 of 15 shots. Huge. Huge. It's a five-point lead for the number 15 seed, their biggest tonight. And I want me to tell you what happens, too, because the nightcap game between San Diego State and Oklahoma as the Eagles come up with the steal and the long. Oh, fielder up high and down hard. Made the trek here all the way from Florida, but all the fans looking for the up become momentum killers. Georgetown has already scored. Porter is only two of seven. Outside he goes here. Smith Rivera. Ice line by Jabril Trollick. He's got four boards. Lubick at the other. Florida Gulf Coast. 
Here's where it was working for Florida Gulf Coast on that lob, the five feeler. Five seed. Yes. And that UNLV should have been a number 12 seed. Comer. Oh. Pounds. He looks like a safety in the NFL. The most athletic player on this Eagle team. A lot of big guys have to work on hand-eye coordination with those kinds of pass win the ball game. How are they going to weather Oh, Comer with a great move and slammed in. Oh, oh. Murray pumps it down. Failing the play. Now you talk about athleticism. That ball was un... And Murray pulls it from underneath. Pushes it back up there and flushes it. But where are any of the great jerseys in transition? Lubin goes. Other great jerseys in there rebounding. Thompson just hit a three. Here's Brown back to Thompson in the corner. Oh, they believe. By Florida Gulf Coast. A lot of time left, though. A lot of time left here for the Hoyas. Nation and dealing with people and Leonard Hamilton on how to build a pre team. He gives the guys a lot of free They've had some opportunities. <laughs> Coaching 15 to play. Shot clock at five. Comer. Oh, oh no. Murray! Traps the sledgehammer! They're playing with confidence now with a corkscrew move there. Feeler outside Murray and Murray. Porter is two of eight. Has Lenny just four points tonight. No. Brown the no. three. Oh, oh no! Brown, I mean these guys are getting it done. And Brown will take it. Help it. He's been doing all the talking, but Brown. I don't think there's any more intentional foul. <laughs> right, Flag. Um, you gotta say not us. That ain't happening to us. <laughs> Thompson. They focus too. Yeah. I mean you look for. Thompson's got 17, and coming off the John Thompson, the third bench, good feet, Carter, and slamming it in. He's been fantastic, but the engine has been Brett Comer. Good feed, and Bowen starts, tosses up the ball. Comer with a fake in the trap, and picked up the other end, Hopkins. And at the other end, a cup. Gail Hopkins is inside, hacked away beautifully by Murray, and picked up by Comer. And a hand to Brown, and a, and a foul, and crushing to the fours, Sherwood Brown. It looks like there's a technical foul. They called it on, did they call it on Feeler? Yep. I mean, they'll get the possession. Taking the free throw line is Sherwood Brown, 65% from the same thing. Because you have your start, and you're trying to protect them. 12 seeds do it in this tournament. A little bit of space, and watch out, and they go into Feeler. They went D1 six years ago, state team, only on TV. That's a rush job by Porter right there. Oh, and a throw lane out, Porter comes in. Homer, long reach of Porter. The kick outside, Thompson is in the triple. Homer has the ball. Shelf. Coach got experience, athleticism. Kentucky team of a year ago. But it's not a great team. Homer now with eight points and eight rebounds. And here is Porter. That's us. And the other way, Porter galloping into Comer and off to Smith Rivera. Porter's on him. Comer, he's defended by Smith Rivera. Comer, right down the boulevard. But you gotta put that pressure out there. 65% shooting in the second half for Florida Gulf Coast. The alley oop. Porter has put in 10. He averages. 16 a game. Starts on the move. Had 10 team fouls for a while. And Florida Gulf Coast just now in the bonus. They could have called that one right there. Quarter for 13. Thompson the other way. The gallop. He throws it up. Oh! Thompson at the line for the Eagle. You are giving up the double bonus. You got to. And this is where the pressure and the anxiety of being down and trying to get the ball. This is where it wears you out. Georgetown Lenny, 6 and 12 from the free set. They have no fear. They beat Miami this year. They haven't blinked. In fact, it, to me, from their quickness and their athleticism. Life and identity of its coach. Oh, he's in a torture chamber right now. Gets it away, and underneath they go to Brown. Got to know where they are, and they got to be there. Brown's got 20. Throw it. Hit too much over helping and reaching in a steal by Georgetown. Outside, Smith Rivera starts and Porter. And they can breathe a bit here, perhaps. And Thompson quickly faces some pressure and two and a half to play. And I like what Thompson did. He oh. met the ball, but he turned it over. 
Here comes Starks. Out. And right now, Dewan Graf is about to cover Gulf Coast. Trump. They're coming back. You've got to make your free throws with your Georgetown. And now, Andy Enfield's going to go offense, defense. <laughs> oh, match <laughs> two. Gremlins in this building. <laughs> Here comes Starks by Thompson. Outside, Trollick at three. And Porter with a big rebound. Off balance in for two. And Bowen with the tap in. And he's got six for Georgetown. Brown. Comer. Up the top. Oh, oh, no. He drops the end. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Feeler has brought him out of their seat. Here's a three. Smith Rivera with a whistle. Oh, my goodness. Are Woo. you kidding me? Brett Comer, welcome to your Kodak moment, my friend. Not worried about the pressure. Just throws it to the sky. They are like a circus team. They're not playing a Big East team. Well, that just lets me know they have times in your career. You believe that. Comer. And these officials are reluctant to call anything. It's a lot of content. The line for the Eagles from Fort Myers. Or quick two. And then turn around. A tie up is as good as a steal because the arrows point in their direction. And then you talk about all. The Eagles have to do is make free throws. Thompson, one of two on that possession. Smith with him, puts up a three. Charlotte comes up with the loose ball. Outside. Better free throw shooter. There, Stephen Domingo and John Caprio come in for Georgetown. <laughs> Bowen. Yeah. Here's Thompson. They knew they had the right guy, so I guess that's what it is. You can't check. On a common foul. Thompson with 23, a three by start down for Georgetown and more to play, and his team by five. They're not allowed Georgetown to roll the basketball up without time coming off the clock. And I like the idea of staying aggressive yeah, defensively. Yes. Yeah. Sparks is dancing on the defense. He hit Sparks. 52 seconds to play. Five. Murray. Each team with a timeout. Here they go. Down by five. Starks lets one fly from three. It's picked up by Comer. Chased by Starks. Over to Brown. For Brett Comer to have kept that basketball. So let him bring him home. And he's got the ice water in his veins. That's why they gave it to him. Trollick and Porter for three. And picked up by Key. But Matt, you're right. Six rebounds. As the 15 seed from Fort Myers, Florida, in their NCAA tournament debut. And build up a nine point lead, half minutes ago. Starts picked up by Feeler. They had the player of the year, the coach of the year, and a two seed coming into the NCAA. Yeah, they were picked low in the Big East and ultimately wound up being the number one seed in that tournament going 14 and 4. You know, they win 25 games and as you said, overcame the loss of their probably their second best player. But to end like this, this is not what they envisioned. Porter for two on the fly. Right forward inside is Trellick. Claimed by Thompson. Trail by 10. And this is on the play. What a great scene this is. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh, Sherwood Brown is feeling it. No one believed but themselves. Officials are over looking at the monitor to see if this is a flagrant one or two. Big East, two seed, Georgetown Oilers. Uh, second in points allowed, but they allowed. Was against the Miami Hurricane. And maybe their biggest run of the season comes in the NCAA tournament.